जय गुरु बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर लेट्स थिंक अबाउट सम फेनोमेना फर्स्ट Have you seen electric discharge as the lightning that appears in the sky during thunderstorms? Answer will be yes. It is a natural phenomena. Have you ever experienced a sensation of an electric shock either while opening the door of a car or holding the iron bar of a bus after sliding from our seat? Most of us might have experienced this. Have you ever tried to find the reasons for these experiences? If not up till now, then I, Ritesh Kumar Pathak, lecturer, intermediate section of Yogda Satsang Mahavidyalaya, came to explain the reason behind all these phenomena. This is precisely the topic we are going to discuss in this lecture: electric charges and fields. So let us discuss it. The reason for these experiences is discharge of electric charges which were accumulated due to rubbing of insulating sur surfaces. Here we have to know insulating surfaces, those surfaces which are of insulators, that means those sub materials or substances which do not allow to pass electricity or electric charges to flow through it. Number two, discharge. Whenever there is a accumulation of large number of charge, and suddenly they transfers from one body to another, this is called discharge. You might have also heard that this is due to generation of static electricity. Static means anything. Here in this lecture, we will take electric charge. as static matter so static means anything that does not move or change with time so electrostatics basically deals with the study of forces fields and potentials arising from static charges that means those charges which are not going to move inside the material and therefore it is also known as static electricity here we will see electric charge so historically it was found by thales you have heard this name in mathematics also around 600 before christ when he noticed that amber this is the material yellow colored material that was used to make ornaments in earlier times rubbed with wool or silk clothes attracts light objects such as thin papers uh leaves and the small pieces of dust particles etc the name electricity was given from the greek word electron you can just check out this spelling here e l e k t r o n many such pairs of materials were known which on rubbing could attract light objects like straw and those materials was nothing but some insulators therefore electric charge is something possessed by material that makes it possible to exert electrical force and respond to that in various objects here in the diagram we have we can see there is a polythene rod which is a type of insulator as well as there is a dry cloth which is nothing but silk cloth when this silk cloth is rubbed against the polythene rod the cloth will remove some of its electrons and give to it to the 
polythene rod so polythene rod becomes negatively charged after gaining electrons whereas the dry cloth will become positively charged by losing electrons so electric charge cannot be generated from anywhere but this is the property or you can say poses material itself and that will exert electrical force inside the material it is a scalar quantity and si unit is coulomb further we will discuss the types of charges an american scientist benjamin franklin introduced a convention on the basis of experiments that the charges are of two types number 1 positive charge and number 2 negative charge as i discussed in the previous page whenever there is a rubbing between two insulating material one material loses some electrons and becomes positively charged because there is a deficiency of electron whereas the second material which will gain those electrons will become negatively charged because there will be excess of electrons so the charges are categorized in two parts which is given here positive and negative i have listed some pairs of materials which can be electrified when comb is rubbed against dry hair as you have seen in your childhood then dry hair will be positively charged whereas comb acquire negative charge similar case happens to the combination of glass rod and silk cat skin and ebonite rod woolen cloth and rubber shoes where glass rod cat skin woolen cloth acquires positive charge whereas silk ebonite rod and rubber shoes will acquire negative charge respectively now it was concluded after many careful and successful studies by different scientists that like charges ripple and unlike charges attracts each other like charges means whenever two objects possessing positive charges or negative charges as the diagram shows here they will ripple each other but whenever there are two objects carrying two different kind of charges number 1 is positive and number 2 is negative they will attracts each other and they will also respond to the neutral object as you can see in the diagram given here now we will move on to the electrification this is the process for electrifying the neutral objects we all know the matter is made up of atoms or molecules normally the materials are electrically neutral because they are exactly balanced by charges means any matter contain equal number of electrons as well as equal number of protons and that is why we can say the the material is electrically neutral in nature and the forces that hold atoms and molecules together are basically electrical in nature due to the presence of these charged particles so to electrify a neutral body we need to add or remove one kind of charge as we have seen earlier in the previous pages we say that a body is charged means we always refer to this excess or deficit of charge as you can see in the example given here along with the picture or diagram silk cloth is rubbed with the glass rod when this rubbing takes place the glass rod loses some electrons to the silk cloth and becomes positively charged whereas the silk cloth which has gained some electrons 
becomes negatively charged. So we can infer that no new charge is created in this process of rubbing. Also the number of electrons that are transferred is very small fraction of the total number of electrons in the material body. That means there is no generation of any electric charge after rubbing to insulating material. But in fact they are created by transferring of electron from one insulating material to the other. In addition to that, only the less tightly bound electrons in a material body can be transferred from it to another by rubbing. Because you know very well, insulators are those materials which have very less number of lightly bound charges, less tightly bound charges they are not free to move anywhere inside the material. We, in other words, we can say they do not have free electrons as conductor has. So I believe you will be able to get an idea about electrostatics, electric charge, electrification through this lecture. I would be happy if you leave a comment for your doubts related to this topic. Thank you.